Partnerships are vital to our global outreach, enabling us to take the love and hope of Jesus Christ to those who need it most. Our Boots on the Ground Partnership Program physically ministers to those in desperate situations all over the world. The Israel Partnership furthers Kim's legacy of outreach to Israel and Jewish people worldwide. We invite you to become a partner today. Join us today and be part of a community that inspires hope, brings restoration to life and often healing from the past. Together we can make a difference and we thank you for your ongoing support. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Real Life and Real Faith. I'm here with Bree and Christy, and we are so excited about this show. We're excited about you, what God's doing in your life, and we're excited about hearing from you. So please uh, email us and let me know, let us know the topics that you're interested in. Let us know uh, how this is affecting you, and tell us what God's doing in your life. That's so important to us. Today, we want to talk about what is truth? And um, I guess we need to define truth first, so let's just do that. Truth is that which is consistent with the mind, the will, and the character, and the glory of and being of God. Truth is the self-disclosure of God himself, what it is because God declares it so and made it so. So uh, the world has always been the world. I think the problems have always, uh, we've always had basically the same problems because of human nature and sin. Um, But, you know, we do see things change to some degree or another, but uh, there is a a struggle uh, for people to know what is true and what is not true. And and truth is uh, absolute, as uh, I've shared by definition with you today. Uh, you better know which side of the freeway uh, you're going down uh, or else you could get seriously hurt. And um, the, uh, the second point is, is that who can we trust? You know, uh, trusting is not easy, but we, we must trust uh, in someone uh, in life because God made us to not be alone. Psalm 116 says... <laughs> All men are liars. Okay, well, that's a little discouraging. Uh, Job said, uh, in Job, it says, Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Where were you then when I laid the foundations of the earth? Shall one who contends with the Almighty correct him? He who rebukes God, let him answer. Now, there's a lot of, you know, rebuking God these days, and I don't, um, the gospel is about saving It's really not about condemning, but it does frustrate. uh, It frustrates me when I'm not in alignment with God. It frustrates all of us when the world is not in alignment with God because the truth sets us free and we all need the truth. I am not the truth. I'm seeking the truth constantly, even though I've asked Christ into my life. You know, that's, uh, that's important, right? That's putting me on the path. But um, it, it, it costs to stay in the truth. And so let's uh, be willing to spend our currency to do so because we'll, we'll only benefit by it. Uh, the next thing I want to say before uh, we, we hear from our, our co-hosts is that uh, let not your heart be troubled. Uh, John 14 and 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way. See, there is an absolute way. Yeah, I love how God made us all different, but, but yet, we're still all heading toward the, uh, the same finish. We have different callings, but, but there are absolutes. And Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. So like it's been said so many times, it's not having the truth, We all, um, many people have the truth. You can have the Bible sitting on your coffee table. You have the truth. I have the truth in that sense. But do I know the truth? You know, do I know personally? 
Uh, I know who um, Donald Trump is, but I don't know him personally. Um, knowing the truth will set, will set us free, that's for sure. So the truth is divine. The truth is absolute. The truth is singular in terms of it's one voice. It's in, in perfect agreement with himself, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The truth is objective. It's not personal feelings. It's impartial, unbiased, unprejudiced, and nonpartisan. The truth is immutable. That means that God does not change and neither does his truth. And finally, the truth is authoritative. Someone said one time, God didn't give us 10 suggestions. He gave us 10 commandments. And why should we cower from, from, being, from using the authority that God has given to us? Not as a taskmaster, but to stand for the truth, say, this is right, this is God. You know, I'm not uh, going to condemn anybody, but, you know, if, if I can walk in, in, in that faith and in, in that authority, I believe that people will like it. And they'll, they'll want to be a part of it. So, all right, Christy, what say you about the truth? Uh, well, we're living in a time right now, I think more than any other time, where we're in an ideological war. And there's warfare going on where there's so many different ideologies fighting for space. And we can look at, you know, 2 Corinthians if we want to, where our war is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of this dark world. The same thing is true today. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason that truth is so important is because there's so many voices, there's so many wavering opinions, there's so many different things that are being fed into society at all times. Mm -hmm. And never before in history until right now has there been the capacity for such a quick spreading of misinformation Mm -hmm. or varying ideologies. It would take a long time to travel Mm -hmm. from one part of the earth to the other. Now it's instant. Somebody can say one thing and it can go viral on the internet and everybody in the whole world can see it within the, the next 10 minutes. Yeah. And so the capacity for there to be, it's for, for a lie to become set up as precedent, mm-hmm. it's unparalleled. Wow. And so, you know, trusting God, this is something I wanted to say too, trusting God can be a difficult thing to do. And if you're struggling with that, you're not alone. But we have to know that there is an absolute morality that we have to adhere to. Mm. And the question that I ask constantly of myself now, the more I delve into these various things is, what is immovable morality, immovable absolute morality, and what is movable culture? Mm -hmm. Because there's certain things from back in the day that have been able to shift. Like if you read through the book of Leviticus, for example, you know, we're not bound to that covenant where if you cut the end of your hair, you're gonna get thrown out the camp and stoned. But there is the Ten Commandments are are moral, immovable absolutes. And I think us learning to differentiate between those things is so important. And so much of it is going to come down to us learning how to hear the voice of God for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Brie and I were talking about this off camera before one of the other shows. Sometimes the danger of growing up in church without a radical conversion is that you don't learn to seek for yourself. You just get you just believe whatever you're spoon fed. Mm-hmm. And we want to be people that are on a mission to find truth for ourselves and know that He is the Word and He is truth. Mm. Jesus is truth. And if we ever are uncertain about things, you can kind of take the Orthodox Church approach to it, which is the words of Jesus take precedence over everything. So whether that's Matthew 5 through 7, looking at the Beatitudes, whatever it is, looking at the actual words of Jesus, what He said in John, what He said in all the varying Gospels, we can hold on to those things as firm, solid truths that cannot be shaken. That's just my yeah. Little and the Bereans and the Bereans they they really dug it out. They didn't did. They? they did dig it out. I I listened to one doctor. I listened to another doctor, and they are they're saying opposite things. The words of Jesus. This is what we come back to. That's why we have to. So we have to. We have to, uh, in, in every area, we have to dig mm-hmm. and find out, pray. The Holy Spirit will lead and guide you. But yeah. um, whether it's, 
your health or whatever area, we just can't take what someone's saying as mm -hmm. absolute. Yeah. And I, I, I think many people that I've like spoken to um, in the things that I've seen in media, in all of these areas, is people are extremely hungry for the truth. Mm. And not to be, not to have it presented and in a bow and just mm -hmm. all nice and cookie cutter and well made, but just, well, I, you know, I want the truth. Mm. Especially, you know, in church, there's a lot of people who are saying, well, I, I'm looking for a place to belong where um, there's not a compromise of truth. Mm where there's not, where you walk what you say, you believe what you say, you walk what you preach. Mm -hmm. um, and so I really feel like there is just a hunger for true revelation mm. and not necessarily true conversion because as church kids, I, I don't feel like we'll ever get that experience. I say all the time, I'm so jealous of my husband because he like had this radical like, Jesus moment, did yeah. not grow up anywhere close mm -hmm. to the church. And I'm over here a church kid and somehow we made it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and, you know, but he just, but he has this total different relationship mm -hmm. with the Lord than I feel like I'm, I will ever have access to, but that's something I'm working through. Mm -hmm. um, but I do feel like we're in a generation where people are, are just so hungry for truth and truth seeking, just like faith takes so much strength. Like, I feel like it takes so much out of you because you tell someone, I want you to believe that the sky is blue, but you won't ever see that it is. Mm. That takes it's crazy a lot. strength yeah. and guts to do that. And I think that that's yeah. what um, trusting without mm. seeing mm -hmm. um, also does. And I feel like it's an incredible place and opportunity to be in, but you got to you gotta have some unction. You got to have mm -hmm. some boldness in that to be yes. able to do that too. Mm. I'm thankful. We're all thankful for the ministry of the Holy Spirit, who uh, Jesus, when he left, of course, he, he said, I'm going to send the comforter. And um, the word of God is has to be just foundational in our lives. Listening to the Holy Spirit, um, of course, he's going to speak through the pages of the book. But um, a lot of people say they heard the Spirit. I would be slow to say, God told me. Mm -hmm. That's a big mistake yeah. that, that Christians make. Well, God told me, okay, so if God told you, what's my response? Obviously, I have none. It's, it's final. What you said is final. And it, the pity is we say the name of the Lord in vain. That doesn't mean you, we cuss. It just means we're misrepresenting him. And that, I don't... It's not a strong rebuke, but it's a, a caution. We need to be cautious. We're very zealous people. I'm talking about following truth, following the Holy Spirit. But what is he actually saying? What is the Holy Spirit saying? It has to be backed by the word, you know. And uh, someone says, I'm a prophet. I have a word for you. Um, very few people have spoken into my life. Um, and that's a good thing. Uh, many people have tried to speak into my life. Uh, that's a bad thing. Um, you need to make sure the people that you're listening to, like the Bereans, they, they dug into the scriptures to make sure that what they were hearing was actually the truth. Because truth will set us free. So what's the, what's the converse of that? And there's too many in the body of Christ that are actually perishing, suffering, and not experiencing the quality of life that, that, um, that we should be experiencing. And I'm not saying, like, follow me, I've attained it all. I'm saying that as one who's passionate to get it right because I do things wrong a lot of the times, and I suffer for, for that. And it may not be killing someone, but it can just be missing uh, speaking to the right, to the person that God wants me to speak to next, just missing that, you know, little mistakes add up. And um, so anyway, we're, we need to be um, very thankful to God for that which he's given to us. 
And when Christy was saying in closing, speaking about the um, how rapidly things move in the earth today, that's a, a huge responsibility. That's not being stewarded very properly. But when she said that, it really struck me. We need to be responsible and we need to be thankful, responsible, and, and treat these opportunities that God is giving to us uh, as holy, as holy. We have a responsibility to share the truth. How we do it means everything. 1 Corinthians 13 is, is our guide. No matter what we do, if it's not done in the right spirit, it equals zero. Mm -hmm. I say that to me first. So um, you've been given the truth, dear house of destiny. You've been given the truth, uh, dear saint of God. We all have. Now, how are we going to impart that? How are we going to be responsible to that? And when we do stand before God, we have one final exam. He's, and he's going to ask us what we did in his name. I know that is not a comfortable statement. And again, I'm talking to myself, but we have the opportunity to be on track and to stay on track. And that's why we need um, real life, real faith. That's why we need the house of destiny. That's why you need your local church if you have one, your family, your husband, your wife, the community that God has given to you. It's so important. If we're gonna walk in the truth, that we have our community. We're gonna pray now, and then after that, we're gonna enter into a beautiful song of worship. So Father, uh, I pray that you would help us. We say, and we are, of the truth, because we know that Jesus is the rock. And he cannot be moved. But Lord, help us. Help us to stay in the truth. Help us to not um, veer off from what you're directing us to do, from what you're admonishing us to do. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that will keep us on the straight and the narrow. And thank you for forgiveness for when we do stray a bit to the left or to the right, you're not a condemning God. You're not a taskmaster. You don't beat your children. You do correct us, but you lovingly uh, lead us into green pastures and beside still waters. We can trust you. So we pray now that truth will prevail in our lives. We know the truth of your kingdom will prevail. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, let's worship the Lord together, shall we? Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world. You can have all this one give me Jesus give me Jesus you can have all this one you can have all Come on, lift it up, say, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, you can have all this world, yes, you can have it all.
Just give me you, give me you. Oh, I surrender all. Give me you and less of me, Lord. I don't want nothing else, Lord. And I don't want anyone else I don't need anything else You are my one king You are my one king I don't want anyone else I don't need anything else You are my one king You are my one king Say I don't want here at the House of Destiny are partnering with you to let our, our viewers, of course, know about your company. It's Beverly Hills Precious Metal. Andrew, explain how that works. So I'll walk you through it right now. So if you go to bh-pm.com, right there on the homepage, you'll see a form that you could fill out. And that form is very important in letting us know how we can help you. So you just put in your first name, last name, email address, phone number, there's a section that says, how did you hear about us? And in there to put Kim Clement. And then there's a portion where you could write a couple of notes down on the bottom. Usually within about, about 24 to 48, 48 hours, we'll contact you by phone call. And then we'll go over everything with you. This isn't a high pressure deal. We always recommend that uh, if you feel uncomfortable, take a step back, pray about it. You will gain the answers that you need by doing that and come back to us when you're comfortable.